<laughs> Are you guys ready? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Punjab, India. Weighing in at 362 pounds. The great Carl E. Here's a superstar just dripping with unearned pride. Oh, yes. How dare a superstar take pride in their work and success here in WWE? Come on, Saxton. Look, there's having pride in your work, but this superstar is just overbearing. I think they're just the right amount of bearing, actually. He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared. A class is in session. A man who has held countless championships in his career. A truly all-time great of the grappling game. And his opponent from Blackpool, England. Weighing in at 240 pounds. Oh. William Regal. I'll tell you, the entire career of William Regal has been predicated on commanding respect, whether it's in the ring as a competitor or whether serving as general manager for Monday Night Raw or NXT. And you're right, Byron, that William Regal forces his opponents to show him the respect that he believes he deserves. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition beg for mercy. Yeah, but he is facing William Regal. And Corey, I can't imagine a tougher or more experienced opponent you could possibly draw inside the ring. First off, that's Mr. Regal to you, Saxton, and everybody else for that matter. The man commands respect. If all you remember about Mr. Regal's drinking tea, let me remind you of how he's knocked out a lot of people's teeth on his way to a championship pedigree. Agonizing. And the fight has been taken to Regal. Yeah, Regal's having difficulty finding a solution. And Regal's toughness got tested there. And William Regal is so experienced. Corey, what do you do to account for something like that? Be ready for anything. Regal is like a wrestling encyclopedia, and he's a lot less nice in the ring than he is outside of it. You're gonna have to deal with grit, nastiness, and a lot of veteran skills. Heel hook locked in. This is painful. Assailing the joints of the leg. Two. We're gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Five! Look at him. Pride and poise personified. <laughs> Wards off that offense from Regal. There he goes, right into the corner. Uncorks a thunderous chop. Just ruthless. Military press. Ooh. Oh, man. You didn't need that eyebrow. 
eyebrow anyway. Outsmarting the wrestling encyclopedia that is William Regal. more of this. I want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Regal did his homework. to the ring now. Four. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Countered it just in time. We're seeing an unbelievable performance in front of us. And how these competitors are still surviving is beyond explanation. Squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh, man. It can't be understated how much that. Incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Yeah, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief. It's it still in this. This is it. Two. Oh, he kicked out at two. I cannot believe it. So close. So close. Yeah. 
Placing them into the corner. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want Perched on the top rope, looking to inflict even more damage. Oh my God, not from up there. What on earth? Oh my God, 